With its towering monuments, impressive museums, and vibrant energy, Madrid is an incredible tourist destination. Travelers of all types will find something to enjoy in this incredible city. You can enjoy food, history, and culture, or even a trendier travel experience in Madrid. Every traveler makes mistakes, no matter how experienced they are. While there's nothing wrong with that, you can make your experience much more pleasant if you take the time to prepare. So if you want a pleasant vacation, Avoid these things not to do in Madrid. You shouldn't order eggs for breakfast. If you are a morning person and want to start your day with an egg, well, then this will probably upset you. When you stumble upon an international brunch spot in Spain, you'll realize eggs aren't offered for breakfast. In Spain, they're viewed as dinner foods, not typically served for breakfast. So instead, order a tosta with tomato for breakfast, a slice of baguette with chopped tomato, olive oil, and salt. That's more like it. You should not look for paellas. Despite your love for paella, you shouldn't eat one in Madrid. Its origin can be traced back to the Valencian community. There are too many restaurants throughout Spain that do this dish in injustice. There's also a wide variety of culinary experiences available in Madrid, both traditional and modern. A tapas bar, tavern, modern restaurant, cool cafe, or traditional tavern. The city has it all. A paella restaurant is a good place to avoid in Madrid if you want to enjoy the local food scene. Additionally, rabo de toro, oxtail in a garlic sauce, is a great meat dish if you're a meat eater. You might also enjoy cochinolo asado, or suckling pig. Do not expect everyone to know English. Madrid is a city with a global reputation, but English isn't as widely spoken as in other major cities in Europe, such as Berlin and Lisbon. You shouldn't start speaking English to the cashier when you get to a store. It's likely they won't understand what you're saying. Another tourist mistake to avoid in Barcelona is this. To get around the city, you don't need to speak Spanish. Signs are easily understood and the city is walkable. If you want to check the schedules of public transport in Spain, try Google Maps or the MoveIt app. As a result, it is helpful to know some basic Spanish phrases. The person can at least direct you in the right direction, even if you are not able to converse in Spanish. Do not try to find an open cafe in the morning. The majority of the attractions, cafes, and shops do not open until 9 or 10 a.m. like in many other Spanish cities. As a result, getting up early would be completely pointless unless you have other plans, such as strolling through the Madrid park or wandering the streets. Cafes will face the same fate as ignorant tourists because breakfast in Spain is customarily not earlier than 10 o'clock. Fast food chains that don't differ in quality cannot operate until that time. Additionally, these establishments are located in areas far from the Spanish capital's major tourist attractions. This is one of their biggest drawbacks. You should not use taxis in Madrid. A taxi from Madrid Berjas Airport to the city isn't the best option unless you're in a group or have a lot of money to burn. Taxis cost a flat rate of 30 euros. Alternatively, you can take the Sersanias local train for about 5 euros. There's also a 200 bus which costs 1.50 euros which will take you to the Avienda de America station. Uber is even slightly cheaper, costing about 20 to 25 euros. Also, the airport express bus connects the airport with Atocha, Sibelas, and O'Donnell, which are all centrally located. There is a $5 euro charge for each trip on this bus. Taxis are convenient, but you should consider other options before taking one. Don't wear flip-flops. Wearing flip-flops is the surest way to announce that you're a tourist. In general, Spaniards and Madriellos, people from Madrid, don't wear flip-flops anywhere but the beach. People in Madrid are conscious of their appearance. The general rule is that people wear yoga pants if they're going to yoga and flip-flops if they're at the beach. Flip-flops aren't ideal for walking around the busy city. Someone could step on your toes or they'll get dusty or dirty. Choose stylish and sturdy sandals better suited for city living if you want to wear them. Don't feel angry if someone calls you guri. The Spanish call foreigners guri or foreigners in colloquial terms. However, don't take it personally if someone calls you that, as it's usually done endearingly. Don't be offended if you hear the word thrown around by locals during your visit, as they love meeting tourists and practicing their English. Summer isn't a good time to go to Toledo. The city of Toledo is one of the most beautiful in all of Spain, and it's been designated a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. Due to its centuries-long existence as a Christian, Muslim, and Jewish city, it's called the City of Three Cultures. As a result, its streets reflect the passage of all these cultures. It is usually on the list of sightseeing tours in Madrid that you must visit. However, the summer is a terrible time to visit this town of craftsmen. 
It's common for shops in the city to impose shameless price hikes during a tourist boom when there's no overcrowding on the streets. There are a lot of exorbitant costs here, even for something that seems inexpensive. In temples, you must dress appropriately. Many European cities are familiar with this rule. It is not possible to enter any temple without a special guise. There is a categorically prohibition on men wearing shorts inside the temple. For this, they can be expelled with shouts and also called the police from the sacred place. Women should cover their arms and shoulders and men should cover their legs. Moreover, as people move around the temple during services, you must not interfere with them. Along with these things not to do in Madrid, you should also be aware of these tourist traps. Do not underestimate pickpockets. Madrid is no different from Barcelona in that ignoring basic safety rules is a no-no. European cities, including Madrid, are notorious for pickpocketing. Despite Madrid's general safety reputation, you should still keep an eye on your belongings when wandering. El Rasto Market is an important place to keep your things safe. Pickpockets love this flea market that takes place every Sunday in La Papi's neighborhood. The metro restaurants and Pierta de Sol are other places to be careful. And speaking of Pierta de Sol, do not go around at Madrid's Pierta de Sol. Pierta de Sol can be compared to Times Square in Madrid. There seems to be a misconception that Pierta de Sol is Madrid's city center. Madrid's tourist area, however, is much larger than that. Thus, you don't have to limit your hotel search to just one location. The Piazza de Sol isn't the only well-located lodging in Madrid. In addition to being a popular meeting point, it's also a common spot for pickpockets and scam artists. Tourists are attracted to the area because of its location, which makes them easy targets for con artists. The huge crowds also make it impossible to take a good photo of the plaza unless you get up early. Don't eat in the Plaza Mayor A major no-no in Madrid is to do this. In Madrid, Plaza Mayor is the tourist trap restaurant area. A beautiful big square like this is a popular tourist attraction. It makes sense why it's so tempting to eat there. It's unlikely that you'll find an authentic Spanish meal or a unique foodie experience here. Consider attending a Michelin-starred restaurant in Salamanca at La Latina for Tapas. Furthermore, since the Plaza Mayor offers many nice cafes where you can enjoy a drink outdoors while admiring the scenery, it's understandable that you might want to do so. It's a tourist trap, so don't fall victim to it. You can have a beer or coffee there, then head elsewhere to eat. The food is usually overpriced and not competitively priced. Be aware of the flower pin scam. Scammers are using flower pins in all big Spanish and Catalan cities. In most places, you can find women offering flower pins. And if you're traveling alone, you'll be an immediate target. You may be asked to give them a souvenir coin from your country in exchange for a flower pin. When you reach for your wallet, you may find that there isn't just a coin missing, but more. They'll find a way to hand you a pin without you even asking for it. Don't give in to pressure and decline the pin. In some cases, they won't take it back at all. Just put it down and walk away. Be mindful of these tourist traps and things to avoid. And thank you for watching. See you in the next video.